Five more seconds and everybody's gone. We're Four, all three, alive. two, one. Goodbye. Kathy and Kelly said that if I bang this, that you guys have to kiss. You heard your daughter. Okay, we're gonna break it. We kissed her when the minister was here. We don't want to wear out this whole kissing thing. No, I'm not gonna stop until you kiss. Fine. But after tomorrow, this whole thing with the fork doesn't count. Okay, you ready for your present? Your papa, he's very strange. And your mama, well, they can't both be crazy, huh? We'll be meeting your muta any minute now. Yeah. Surprise wedding was enough of a gift for me. I still can't believe we're married. Now we're a real family. Yeah, let's hope it lasts. Kelly? Okay, that, that's enough out of the peanut gallery here. Wedding was okay? It was incredible. It was romantic. Wait until you see what I got in store oh. for you. No, 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 hold on. This... I got you a present. No, Todd, I don't need any presents. I... All my dreams came true today, and I am just so happy. And she better stay happy. Amen. Double amen. Okay. Trust me, you're gonna... <laughs> you're gonna want this present. It's just that it's upstairs, and I need to talk to you about it before I give it to you. Hurry up! give you this present but before I do I got to talk to you and I got to say something and it's something big and it it may not be something that you want to hear what is it Todd it's the truth about the baby I told you the truth about the baby, and I know it was too late, and it was terrible. It was worse than terrible. Blair. But Todd, you know, I thought the fact that we got married meant that you were getting over what I did. I... It's not something that you did, Blair. I'm talking about something that I did. Great. Here we go again. Are you trying to make Mommy sad again? No, I'm trying to make your mother happy, Star. Well, don't mess it up. She already is happy. Look, I'm not trying to mess anything up. I just want, I, I'd like a minute alone to talk to her before I give her this present. How could a present be bad? Good question, Todd. Yeah, what is this present? Star, go lock Kelly and Cassie in a closet. Oh, lovely. Oh, okay. You know what? Kelly and Cassie are the ones that made this wedding happen. Yeah, well, I paid for it. Well, they didn't kidnap me and we got to get married. Mm -hmm. Don't make us regret it, Todd. Yeah, I came a long way to see Blair happen. Okay, just, just shut up. Would you be nice, please? Okay, I'll be nice, fine. L lock him in a big closet, will you? With a with little cedar moth. Okay, enough, stop. We will go, okay? But to quote Star, don't wreck it. I want to be able to call Kevin and tell him that this wedding went off without a hitch. Okay, Star, why don't you go pack a few toys for your overnight with River? Can I bring my fly chat? Today's feeding day. You mean, it's um, a plant with, like, teeth. Uh... -uh. <laughs> yeah, River can help me catch big fat flies for it. Oh, good. That's right up his alley. Yeah, you can go get it. It's not a it. It has a name. Renfield. Oh, great. Great. Well, um, go get it and, uh... Renfield! Oh, fine, fine. I'll go pay the caterer. So... What is it you have to tell me about the baby, Todd? Renfield. Renfield, I know I left you in here. This place has the best flies. Renfield. Okay.
Okay, I, I kind of made a little mistake with the baby, but it, it's got a happy ending because uh, I fixed everything, and now everything's going to be all right from now on. What is it, Todd? I'm so sorry. I, what do you want? Um, has anyone seen my purse around here? Are you still looking for your bag every time? Uh huh. Did the switch teach you nothing? <laughs> you know what? I, I'm going to wait until this isn't a house full of women, and then maybe I can spend some time alone with you, and then I'll give you your damn present. Wow. I am not the only one who hasn't changed around no, here. No, 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 no. Todd has changed. Just, just not visible to the naked eye. And you, sweetheart, are still hopelessly in love with him. I can't help it. I always will be. All right. <laughs> then I'm glad you found your way back to each other. Thank you. So why is he so worked up about this present? I don't know. But whatever it is, it can't replace the baby that we lost. You're funny looking, you know that? You know, when somebody sticks your tongue out at you, you're supposed to stick out your tongue back. <laughs> Where'd you come from, anyway? Star, what the hell are you doing in here? Daddy, it's a baby! Can we keep it? Shh! Stop. Oh, my gosh! Is it my baby brother? Oh, my gosh! I knew it! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to tell Mommy! Star, listen to me. Hey, calm down. You... No! But Mommy, it's gonna be so exciting! Get out of my way! Mommy, guess what? Mommy! I will take my hand off of your mouth if you swear to me that you won't say anything. All right. I can't tell your mother about the baby. Why not? Can't we keep him? Well, maybe. It's just that I need to tell your mother some things, and I can't tell her. Well, I can't tell you until after I tell her. Why not? Because you won't keep your mouth shut. Well, Mommy can't either. Well, it's not saying much. Look, you don't just announce to somebody that there's a new kid. It's an idea that I gotta get your mother kind of used to first. Mommy let me keep a toad that I found. Yeah, well. The toad's just, you know, completely different from a baby. But Mommy wants a baby. Look, Star, it's a big day for your mother, okay? She's getting married. Uh, I don't want to just spring it on her that there's a new kid. I'll explain it to her, but i got to do it in just the right way. You're bad at explaining. I can help. You know, Star, when I need your help, I'll ask for it. Okay. All right, so this is just our little secret, right? Right? Okay, so go on now and go get little Renfield and bring it over to Cassie's house, will you? If you promise that when I come back, I get my baby brother, and so does Mom. Okay, I promise you that you'll have your little brother. And your mother will finally have the baby that she's missed so much. Blair, we both know how devastating it is to lose a baby. But you've got to remember that... Over time, it, it doesn't exactly get better, but it's different. You can't blame yourself for this. But Cassie, I lied to Todd. I told him that the baby was Max's, and then I rubbed his nose in it for months. I think he's forgiven you for all that. I was just so afraid if I told him he would take Star away from me, and then I would be all alone. <laughs> but you know what? Instead, he, he married me. I know, which proves how much he loves you. You're one lucky lady to have him help you through this. Mm. He's been so incredible. It's, it's, it's so weird, though. When we were down in Mexico, I kept imagining a baby crying, my baby crying. And now that we're home, Cassie, I, I, I still hear it. I mean, I heard it right before the wedding today. Well, you're always going to love your baby. I mean, he had a soul and a life all his own. No matter how brief that life was, he made a difference. I love you. Oh. Renfield's leaking. He's all yours. Oh, oh come on, Cassie. We have to go. What? Okay. Come on. Come on. Honey, we're going. Wait, wait, it's okay. Honey, it was you'll have your present. Blair, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, okay. Bye. Wow. <laughs> This must be some present to get Star so excited. 
What is it? A python? Mm-hmm. It's... It's... What? Something that I hope will make up for all of the weddings that I messed up. Oh, Todd, none of that matters now. Uh, hold on. When you told me the truth about the baby that had died, I ran out on you. No, I, I'm so sorry. No, you... Don't be. I didn't run out because of anything that you did. I ran out because of something that I did. You didn't do anything, Todd. I'm the one that lied to you. I stole your baby no, you and I you didn't, you didn't hated stop. me for me. You didn't steal anything and then I didn't hate you, although I thought that I did. And you... It's just that I was, I was mad at myself. But why? Look, when I ran away, it was because I needed to fix something. I needed to make it all right. I needed to, to, to make up for something that I had done, and I did. I mean, I, I wouldn't have come back unless I had. There's nothing for you to make up, Todd. You have been nothing but loving toward me. I don't know about that. There it is again. And what is again? baby I hear I hear our baby crying and he needs me